A proportion is the comparison of two ratios that are equal. Proportions are used to find missing segments in similar figures, solve percent problems, and to make predictions given a pattern of events. One everyday example of proportional math that Alexis and Jamal might encounter if their band is successful is t-shirt sales. If 15% of the concert audience buys a t-shirt at the local competition, how many shirts would they need to have on hand? And let's say they make it to the nationals. How much larger is the national audience? Should they still count on 15%? These are questions they can address if they know how to work with proportions. Let's look at some proportion equations related to the big show and to Alexis and Jamal's high school. In order to host tonight's showdown, the hosting school had to have an auditorium that could seat at least 1,200 audience members. Here are the facts you need to know. Rockport's auditorium will hold the entire student body and faculty. Rockport High has 45 students for every two teachers at the school and has a total of 60 teachers on staff. Without having to visit the auditorium or count the chairs, do you have enough information to prove that Rockport's auditorium is truly big enough to meet the 1,200 seating requirement? To find out how many students make up the student body at Rockport, based on these facts, we need to use proportions. Here's how. First, write out the ratios in words to use as a guide. In our example, we would write it as students over teachers. That's our starting point. Next, match the numbers up with the words. 45 students for every two teachers. Then, to figure out the size of the student body with a proportion of 60 teachers, write the proportion as 45 students divided by two teachers equals the unknown number of students, x, divided by 60 teachers. That's your proportion. Now let's solve our Rockport High puzzle. 